Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today, I want to share with you an item from the Steam Workshop that you guys have really requested me to actually have a look at. Now, this is the Aurorus Solar Array, and in my opinion, it is one of the most amazing sort of mechanical devices that I've seen on the workshop for a very long time. It is really breathtaking. So let's actually have a look around the ship itself. Now it's not more of a ship than more of a sort of a station. As you can see the idea is actually to extend out these solar sort of panels that are stored within this really unique sort of system and maybe it could be used to power different sorts of items around the ship or it could even charge a load of batteries that then in turn you could take the power from them and transfer them to actually power in a ship or something else but the way this thing folds out is absolutely breathtaking so let's actually head inside and we can start to get under some of the controls so I'm going to drop down there, enter through the sealed airlock, the door automatically opens, seals behind me, pressurizes the room, and then I can actually go in. So now that we're actually inside the ship, we can actually take advantage of its main feature as acting as a large sort of solar array, maybe to power passing ships or power a generator just to process ore that you might have got from an asteroid or maybe in the future a nearby planet. So this could be really cool as it just orbits like a planet or something like we've got down there for the moment. Anyway, let's open this thing up. We're going to access the hood and we're going to press one and you can see the protective sleeve is already coming off. We're going to get outside so we can get an even better perspective. Open this door up and we'll head on outside and you can see the perspective sleeve around the actual solar panels themselves is extending out and it's revealing this sort of rotary drum formation of solar panels that are really tightly kept together. Now the secondary stage is a second rotation of these so they're rotating the maximum amount of solar panels for efficiency. You can also see there's a hinge on the top part that's getting us even more solar panels out there so you can get a real variety of power. You can see on this final stage we've actually got it extending into that sort of pointed dome effect. Now what's really cool about this is you see you've got a little bit of a camera aiming down the front there but imagine if you could replace it with maybe an energy driven weapon and fire that just destroy a planet or something I don't know it'd be really cool but you can see how we've got that really large surface area and all of these solar panels are starting to power up and charge internal batteries in the system you've also got the glass shells that are going to protect it from any sort of travel debris as you're transporting these around now you could drop these off maybe a larger ship and that'd be something cool let's actually fold this up so before I thought I'd show you actually folding this thing away I thought I'd open it out with a little bit of a larger sort of expanse so you can see the whole shape from start to finish as well so you see the glass actually cupel sort of areas have actually extended out now and you've got that protective cover revealing the solar panels i really like that idea because it's going to give a little bit of protection to the solar panels but at the same time it doesn't distract you too much from the actual design itself and then you're moving on to the second stage and you can see the tips of the solar panels so you maybe you could push through some sort of light asteroid field with these covers on without taking too much damage to the actual solar panels themselves and then we're on to the next stage of twisting all them solar panels into position it's quite fast so you could use it to charge or maybe even put this onto some sort of solar sail design and get this functioning so now we've got like a realistic looking satellite orbit in this planet here as they fold flat and we should start to get maximum amount of charge on these solar panels just really cool now let's try folding this thing away so we're going to hit one and the process is going to start to reverse so the solar panels are all going to curve and you can just see the complex nature of this rotary system and how he's used the interior ramp so actually the objects themselves do not scrape upon each other and he's got maximum amount of rotors per block so you can get loads and loads of solar panels here so you can just have an infinite amount of charge for whatever you want to charge so you see it's folded up we've got the solar panels in the top segment as well folding away Oh, it's just it's just so mag magnificent. I've not seen anything like this from when we used to do the old school hangar doors with the iris sort of openings. It's just a really nice demonstration of what is possible. And remember, there's no mods in this world at all, except the skybox and a few I've whacked in. But it's just beautiful. It's just so smooth and precise. And there we go. It's it's all packed up, ready to stick back onto the side of a large ship and carry it away. Let's try one more thing. So the, for the final little experiment here, I've added a number of them in just to make it look that little bit more beautiful. So you can see how they're all folding out. And inside these ones, I've added a little bit of a laser to destroy that planet down there. But you can see how they're actually folding out to the side 
Oh my god, it's, it's so lovely. It's lovely when things work just so smoothly in Space Engine. I'd love to see how this panned out in multiplayer with some of the server issues at the moment. But apart from that, wow, it's just an ingenious sort of design making that beautiful round sort of shape and perspective. Let's quickly fire that laser down into the planet and just see what sort of result we actually get. So we have to enter in through the back of this one here. Ideally, we could get them all firing. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? Well, let's actually hop down here. I have to get some other people to man the other ones. And enter through the airlock and into the seat. So there we go. Now we can actually fire this thing on button two. And let's actually aim it at that red bit up there for a little bit more effect. Let's see exactly what happens. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> that is the effect you get. A little bit of annoying machine gun sound. These are the Star Trek phaser pack. But maybe one day you could actually do some sort of orbital combat engagement where you fire some laser from a station above and affect something on the planet below. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and make sure you check this out on the Steam Workshop. It's a marvellous piece of engineering. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.